There's an awful lot of counting going on in the beginning of Sefer Bamibar in our Parsha, Parsha's Bamibar. And this counting is the counting of the Jewish people specifically for the task of who can go out to fight in a battle. The males above the age of 20 are counted by their tribe. And we talk about counting. We say, well, why? Why did Hashem count them? You know, we've all witnessed at some point in our lives, either with ourselves or with a child or grandchild or seen a child, when a child realizes that money has value and it can be used as a source of currency, a child gets a hold of the coins in their piggy bank or dollar bills they got for a birthday and they just count them again and again. And they have, they're have they so beloved. These these dollars mean so much to this child. So the Havdiel HaKadosh Baruch Hu, Rashi explains to us, the same thing is true when it comes to the relationship between Hashem and the Jewish people. From time to time, Hashem counts us because each and every one of us has a task, has a role, and we are beloved to Him. And so the beginning of our parasha, that's what Hashem counts. He wants to know how many people can go out to war, and that's how we are counted. Yet, there is one tribe, one Shevet, which is not counted with everyone else. That's the tribe, the Shevet of Levi. Levi is to be counted unto itself, because Levi is a special Shevet, which handles all of the holy places, the, the Mishkan, when the Jewish people were in the Midbar. And the Levian would carry the Mishkan. The Levian would erect the Mishkan. When the Jewish people traveled, the Levian would take the Mishkan apart. They were responsible for all of the vessels. And they were also responsible for the Aron, where, of course, the Luchos that we speak so much about on Shavuos were placed. What's interesting to note is that whereas when it came to the rest of the Jewish people, males from 20 years and above were counted, when it came to the tribe of Levi, who did not go out in war like everyone else, but were responsible for the Mishkan, when it came to Shevet Levi, each child, every boy above the age of one month was counted. So here there was a 19-year-old male from the tribe of Yisachar who was not counted, but a month-old baby boy from the tribe of Levi who was counted. Well, what could a month-old baby boy do in the service that the tribe of Levi was responsible for in the Mishkan? Huh. One, a one-month-old baby can't carry anything. They can't put up the Mishkan. They can't take down the Mishkan. So why would there be such a distinction? Why would that baby be counted? So the Imre Emma says that specifically in this area, maybe we're learning a lesson that Hashem wants us to know that each and every one of us has a role, has a place, has a mission, and that every nefesh, every neshama has its goal and its mission in this world and its place among Klal Yisrael, among the Jewish people. And that when Hashem looks and ultimately counts all of Klal Yisrael, all of the Jewish people, he counts each and every one of us and searches for our role and that we should be able to match and find that role for our lives in the greater picture of the Jewish people. When we celebrate Matan Torah, the giving of the Torah, it is a time in which we really reinvigorate and reconnect to our love of Torah, to recognizing that living by the Torah's ideals is what enhances our lives and makes us unique among the nation. And the place and the time for us to learn Torah is not periodic, but is regular. And the commitment that we have to make to learn Torah and to live Torah is something by which we breathe and we live every single day. And Shavuos is the time that we remember we all stood at Har Sinai. Each and every one of us, our souls were present. And while today we may not feel that wow, what did it feel like at Harsinai? We try to recreate and envision for ourselves what it must have been like. Yet, we connect to the value and the idea that the Torah that was given at Harsinai is the exact Torah that we have today. And that our life's goal is to find our place among Kalal Yisrael and our place in that learning of Torah. As we say on Shabbos in our davening, V'sein Chelkenu, that we ask Hashem that we find our part in His Torah. May we be zocha indeed that this Shavuos gives us a new taste, a new flavor to our Torah learning and our Torah observance 
for that'll last us for the entire year. Thank you for listening. Have a good Shabbos and Chag Sameach.